Hello, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Learnia, where we learn and discuss with a lot of fun. So this is our next part of our learning journey of electricity. By the way, this video is going to be a little bit of different. Yes. So the thing is that I am a telepathic person. Hey, what does this mean? Well, the thing is that I can read your mind. Yes. So I can read the doubts which are revolving around you. Right? So in this video, I'm gonna clear one doubt which I think that that might be confusing you. By the way, this video are not the separate series, right? So they are the part of this learning journey. So in between this videos, I will also include such videos in which I will clear the doubts. So that's it. Now let's begin this video. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna answer that why the flow of current and the flow of charges are in the opposite direction, right? So the thing is that we humans have discovered about electricity much before when the J.J. Thomson discovered a new subatomic particle called electron. So he did that during his cathode ray tube experiment and this was in the late 19th century. But we humans, by the way, the Greek peoples were the first to discover about the electricity. And they did that around 2600 years ago, right? So at that time or in that era, the people didn't know that there is a subatomic particle of an atom. So people used to think that electricity is a flow of positive charges, right? But today we know that electricity is a flow of negative charges or the electrons. So that is how the flow of current is in the opposite direction of the electron, right? So today when we say that current is the flow of positive charges or it is the flow from positive to the negative terminal. So today it is just an convention, right? So convention means that there, is, there was an old tradition and we are continuing it even today. Right? So the flow of current from positive to negative is just than convention today. Right? So that is very clear. But I'm gonna make it even more clear by giving you an analogy. So keep watching the video. So once I was watching the news channel and I observed something new. So I just thought that I can explain you this by giving an analogy. So what I'm trying to tell you is that in the news channel you might have seen that there are news headlines by the way, they are not headlines. I don't know what they really are, but they are news which are going continuously right here, right? So that's what we are going to see here. So let's say that we have one proton here and the electrons are moving continuously in this direction, right? So after looking this, we can say two things. The, the, the first thing is that we can say that electrons are moving in this direction or from the negative to the positive terminal. That is the first thing that we can say. But think about it. We can tell one more thing, right? You got this? Yes. So instead of saying that electron is moving in this direction, we can say that, hey, electron is not moving. The proton is moving. Can we say that? Yes, we can say that, that the proton is moving in this direction. Right, so from this we can say that the flow of electron and the flow of current are in the opposite direction, right? So I hope that this is now very, very clear to you. So one more thing I would like to tell you is that you should not directly believe what books are telling you, right? So you should try to go into deep into that and you should try to know what is the actual reason behind it. So if you are a student who wants to learn, not just because of getting good marks, but you wanted to learn because of curiosity. You ask question, hey, what is this? Hey, how that happens? So if you are that kind of boy or a girl, then you should subscribe to my channel because that's what we do here, right? That's it. I hope that you understood this. Now I will meet you in the next video. By the way, thank you very much for watching.